Good evening. I'm Ron Burgundy. Welcome to our special Samantha Smith Challenge. We are part of a service learning project called the Samantha Smith Project. Samantha Smith was a young girl who wanted peace during the Cold War. And finally tonight, the story of Samantha Smith, a 10-year-old girl from Manchester, Maine. Earlier this year, Samantha wrote a letter to Soviet leader Yuri Andropov. This morning, the reply came. A letter to Samantha from Yuri Andropov, arrived by registered mail at her home. And she's standing by live now in our New York studios to tell us about it. Samantha, you've got quite a pen pal there. What did he write to you? Well, he told me that I resembled Becky Thatcher and Tom Sawyer's. Well, in Tom Sawyer, the book. Why, did you send him a picture? No, I didn't. He, I guess he thought, he said I was courageous. Well, I just hope we can have peace and hope it'll do some good. Hello, my name is Bo McDonald and I'm part of the Samantha Smith Challenge. Like Samantha, the students on Team Pemaquid at MMS chose an issue in our community. Hunger, how can we help those hungry in our community? help children who have been abused reach out and receive help to be able to live a life like any child should live. I'm Batman. And I'm Sheldon. Team Fox held a community panel where people from the Penobscot Nation, Police Department, and the School Administration told us about problems and challenges in the community. Team Fox used those problems and challenges and turned them into what they wanted to do for action in the community. Team Fox chose poverty. Our generation is a generation that's really going to have to deal with these problems. One of the problems we had as a group is that we all had different ideas for possible solutions. And they were all good ideas, but we had to narrow it down to one. We did a lot of research. We wrote letters to Maine officials to inform them about the research we did on homelessness, hunger, and poverty in Maine. And we have given them ideas that may help end these things. And we plan on volunteering at the Waterville Humane Society. We realized that our school lunches didn't apply to our taste buds, so we wanted to change something. So we decided to pack our own lunches. I think we have made a difference, you know, fixing things that need to be fixed. I don't know how a little tyke from Maine could contact the leader of Russia. I painted Samantha Smith for the Americans Who Tell the Truth series because she's such a good example, not just for children and young people, but for all people, adults, of what to do when you're faced with a concern in your life, that instead of acting with denial or in fear, you meet it with a question. And then you follow that question and the consequences of your answers until something begins to change, that you feel like you've done something. And that's why we've decided to begin the Samantha Smith Challenge, to encourage young people from all over the state of Maine, and hopefully then around this country, to begin to act, not just in school, but out of school, to look at the issues in their lives, ask the right questions, and then begin to affect responses and changes. That will be the greatest tribute to Samantha Smith that we could possibly give her.